Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Myth. So, Terry got a fun and random episode for you guys this evening because the popularity of Fallout has absolutely exploded in the last month with Amazon's new television show. I've watched the entire thing and it's a straight 10 out of 10 in my opinion. And I know while most of my channels probably played at least one Fallout game, it makes me wonder if you've ever played the original Fallout where the entire franchise got its start in a completely different genre than you would see in Fallout 3 and beyond. But to say that Fallout has seen a massive surge in popularity would be an understatement. The television series has basically brought this entire franchise to the forefront of a lot of people's brains that have probably never played a video game before in their lives, and that is always fun. Not only do we get amazing fan service in the show, but we also have a new audience to talk about retro games to, and that is always a good time, because in the television show, if you haven't watched yet, spoiler alert, you saw what happened to Shady Sands. Well, in these games, you get to find out exactly what Shady Sands is, how it got its start, and how it evolved until the events of the actual television show and honestly this video is all basically just my way of making a thumbnail with a couple Kyle McLaughlin's in it so I can have some fun because honestly sometimes I do make videos based around ideas I have just for thumbnails but honestly the original Fallout is what I would consider a perfect game it is a 10 out of 10 in all aspects storytelling graphics music the fun factor there is nothing that this game does that is not a 10 out of 10 in my opinion and now that the television show is out you can go back in play the these games and understand so much of the lore that you saw in the television show. Honestly, if I was going to do this, I would watch the TV show, play the Fallout games, and then bookend it with another watch through of the series so you could really ingest all of the fine granular detail the filmmakers put into the television show because I was definitely blown away by just how good that was. When I heard that they added Kyle McLaughlin to the cast, I had high hopes. He doesn't do anything that I do not like. And honestly, Hank just kind of felt like a new version of Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks to me. You can definitely see a lot of DNA shared between the two franchises and as far as how Kyle McLaughlin's presenting them. But again, we're here to talk about a game, so let's get Goosey up into the mix. Also, an amazing cameo in that show. I love that scene for sure. And tell me down below, have you watched the show yet? Or if you just played the games, I would be curious. But I remember first getting this game for PC way back in the day. I had absolutely no idea what it was. I saw it on the shelf at my local EB Games and it was on sale. And I thought to myself, well, the cover art looks pretty good. This looks like something that could be intriguing. Screw it. I'll just give it a shot. And that was kid brain me, honestly. Not a lot of impulse control back then. If I thought the artwork looked good, I would definitely just buy the game because of that. But I came home, installed Fallout on my computer, started playing it, and I absolutely just fell in love with everything. If you can't obviously tell already, this is a completely different genre than Fallout 3 is though, and it is fun to see it in action. It's definitely a slower paced game, but it's all of the universe of Fallout, all of the storytelling, and so much of it would end up in Fallout 3, 4, 76, and the television show all gets its start here in the original Fallout game. And if you're wondering, I'm playing this on Mr. FPGA just because that is the fun way to do things these days. And big thanks to Andy D for helping out with this video, as well as kind of looking at the thumbnail that I created. But if you've never played a Fallout game before, would I start at the original Fallout 1? I don't think I would. I'd probably recommend you start playing 3 and then go to 4 and then back to 1 and 2. Honestly, Fallout 76 started extremely rough, but it has gotten better in intervening years. And there is some good lore in there as well, so I might play that last. And you'll see here we do have the VAT system and we do have a complete rat mass murder on our hands. This game starts out slow. It eases you in as the vault dweller that comes up to the surface trying to fix the water chip. And that's basically the inciting incident to get you into this game and get everything moving around. And that's the fun part about the original Fallout. It starts so quietly, but once you're done with the game, you'll absolutely be blown away by the detail. And the voice acting is incredible as well. Go ahead and listen for 45 seconds, and I'll come back and talk more about the history of the original Fallout game. Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost can't make another one, and the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. 
It's absolutely incredible voice acting, especially for the air, because this was not the era known for good voice acting. And the water chip makes an appearance in the Fallout television show, as does mention of the Gek and so many other deep cut bits of information from these games. And I think that's why the television show was so successful. Whoever wrote and researched the episodes must have combed through all of these games, picking up different bits of lore. Some things were very obvious if you've ever played the games. Other things I even had to go and look up after the fact, because I couldn't quite remember where they came from. But with Shady Sands playing such a pivotal role in the story of the Fallout television series, this is where you get to see its basic advent and how it's actually functioning. And hopefully in the next series, when they go to Fallout New Vegas, we're going to get even more fun there. Because honestly, I still consider New Vegas to be the best game in the series, but I know people have different choices. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what your favorite Fallout game is. There's just something about New Vegas and Mr. House and that entire storyline that just 100% works for me. And seeing Mr. House at the meeting in the television show was just so entertaining and I'm still wondering who the man in the silhouette at the top floor of that scene was. Definitely a lot more fun to come in the television show and hopefully that means we're also going to be seeing a Fallout 5 soon because honestly this franchise definitely needs a new game. The new remaster on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X of Fallout 4 is a ton of fun. My wife and I have been playing through it together but I'm ready for some more Fallout universe fun in a new game. But of course, as we wander through this vault here in the original Fallout, there's just something about the isometric view and the overall graphics that is aged so well. Obviously, this is not a 3D game. It's made up of all 2D parts, and I think that actually serves to keep this looking nice and fresh. Because if you pop in the original Fallout 3 into something like an Xbox 360, it still looks decent, but it's definitely aging at this point in time. And I still remember standing outside my local game store at midnight to get Fallout 3 for the midnight launch way back in the day. Because like I said, I played the original Fallout, Fallout Tactics, and Fallout 2 so many times before Fallout 3 was even announced. I was so excited to get that game. And that is the fun about something like the television series in conjunction with the games. I can't wait to see where Fallout goes next, and I can't wait to see the people that get involved in playing these games because they saw the show. This is just fan service to the 10th degree, and it just 100% does it for me. It was so lovingly made with such good acting and so many callbacks to the game. They couldn't do anything wrong, in my opinion, and it was very possible that that entire television series could have done poorly if it was in somebody else's hands. But again, I know the original Fallout can seem antiquated, it can seem a little bit slow, but that is the vibe, that's what you're there for. You're thinking more, you're planning more, it's not a first person shooter, so you get to take your time and really soak in the entire universal vibe of what the Fallout franchise has done. Because the world building in this entire series is top notch, and I think the world building in Fallout 1 may be the best that the entire series ever did. This is where every single Fallout idea gets realized that will be brought into the television show and every single game moving forward. And now that we've actually gotten to Shady Sands, it does change over time as far as the games are concerned until you get to the TV show where Shady Sands 100% changes in a very dramatic way. And I can't wait to hear more about what actually happened there and how Hank McClain or Kyle McLaughlin's character is more involved. Because when you first see him in the television show, he just seems like a kind of bumbling assistant. But there's definitely a lot more backstory there that I think we're going to be discovering in Season 2. And the worst part about a television show as good as Fallout is, it only got renewed after it aired. So we're probably like 12 to 18 months production schedule wise off seeing any new episodes in that. So it's definitely going to be a long wait. And you should 100% fill that with replaying the Fallout games. Take my word for it, these are Hall of Fame first ballot legendarily good titles. I know they move a little bit slower, but that is where all the fun is. You get to soak in the environment, you get to soak in the conversations, all of the minute details. I can guarantee you that is going to help you if you rewatch the television show. Find so many little things in the background, in the story, and in the settings that are just going to make the television show that much richer and more interesting. But honestly, like I said at the beginning of the video, the entire point behind this was that I had a really fun thumbnail idea to throw a couple of Kyle McLaughlin's up and sometimes I really do just make videos based upon what my mood is that day and that thumbnail made me want to talk about the original Fallout because I can guarantee you the Fallout universe is going to expand massively now that this television show has been a hit. It's probably the best translation of a video game to the television medium I've ever seen and it's involved in one of my favorite franchises of all time. You can grab the original Fallout basically anywhere and the only wrong way to play this game is not play it in the first place but short of that thanks for watching guys have a great weekend i'll see you next time and i hope you enjoyed it Bye bye